When we study common history, it is not usual for a country like Pakistan to be remembered. In reality, Pakistan covers centuries of historical flux, taking us back to the time when Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa, whose first rural reality on Pakistani soil is traced back to Mergar, a Neolithic site in Balochistan that arose between 7000 BC and 3200 BC, years before democracy was invented in Athens and before the Egyptians built the pyramids. The oldest evidence of life in Pakistan dating back to the Stone Age is considered until now to be the Soan civilization, which emerged in the Soan Valley in the Potoha region around 500,000 years ago. Ancient human footprints, ancient tools such as edged plebbers, stone tools, axes and cleavers dating back to this prehistoric civilization have been discovered. About Sunyal culture, some argue it is a culture developed by the ancient ancient hominids, the Homo erectus. Several prehistoric sites have been also found along the Siwalik Hill in Siwalik region in present-day India and Nepal. Men and women lived in caves to protect themselves from wild animals, lived in groups and cooperated with each other, gathering food, hunting and eating wild fruits. The geographical and environmental climatology of the valley was exploited by primitive humans to stay here before the advent of civilizations. Ergar is one of the most important Neolithic sites in South Asia, located between three present-day Pakistani cities, Quetta, Kalate and Sibi, at the foot of the Bolan Pass on the Ketchi Plain of Balochistan. Mergar was discovered in 1974 by an archaeological team led by French archaeologist Jean-Francois Jarige. The evidence provided insights into life before the advent of the Hindu Valley civilization. There is no evidence of written language, but the ruins of bricks, tools, human and animal bones, shell ornaments, women figures, axes, flint, bats, bracelets, pendants made from sandstone and lapis lazuli from the Balakshan province of Afghanistan were found. The earliest residences were rectangular for standing houses with several rooms, built with the long cigar-shaped mud and mortar bricks. The structures and the craft agricultural and funerary practice found are very similar to those found in Mesopotamia at the beginning of the 7th millennium. The early inhabitants stored their grain in large granaries, molded copper, cultivated barley, and murdered with software and dates and raise goats and cattle. The site was continuously occupied until it was abandoned when the Indo civilization began to emerge. An ancient proof of proto-dentistry, the oldest smaller teeth drilling in human history, was found at these sites. Since the end of excavation work in 2000, the site has steadily deteriorated due to the negligence of the provincial and federal governments, and rain has played a significant role in corroding the soil. In 2004, the Department of Archaeology and Museums of Pakistan submitted the application to classify the site as UNESCO World Heritage Site. The ancient archaeological site of Kot Dij is located near an ancient flood channel of the Indus River in Pakistan, 25 kilometers from Kairpur in Sindh province. Kot Dij civilization was a precursor of the Indus Valley civilization. The site complex consists of a stone rubble wall dating back to around 3000 BC and is located near all the important sites such as Mohenjo-daro and the hill fort built in the 19th century by the Talpur rural Sorab Khan. Kot Dij origins are recognized as belonging to the early Arapan period. 
the ancient civilization practiced crop cultivation and cattle breeding. They grew different types of grain and cereals. They lived in 45 houses made of mud bricks. The design of the city consisting of two parts, the citadel built high up for the elite and the lower city. The complex was more or less similar to the later civilization. Excavation carried out between 1950 and 1957 found that the Cote Digi people had manual skills in the manufacture of terracotta figurines such as the female statuette and at the same time they were good craftsmen. They mastered ceramics and terracotta making bronze vessels decorated with ring lines and triangular motifs. The Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Rapa Civilization, originated in present-day Pakistan between 3300 and 1300 BC. Its origin seems to date back to the settlement of Mergar. The first communities developed into large urban centers were the cities of Arapa, Ganerivala, Mohenjo-Daro, Dolavira, Galibangan, Rakigarni, Rupar, and Lothal. The first excavations attributable to the Indus Valley civilization took place accidentally during the construction of a railway first in 1921 at the Rapan city and the following year at Mohenjo-Daro. This civilization is often divided into three phases, the first phase, the mature phase, and the late phase. In both Arapa and Mohenjo-Daro urban settlements, there is evidence that highly advanced urban planning, engineering, and administrative techniques were employed anciently. Since the excavation, 1056 cities and settlements have been discovered to date. The large urban centers of Mohenjo-Daro and Arapa very likely grew to contain between 30,000 and 60,000 individuals, and during the civilization's up the population of the subcontinent grew to up to 5 million people. Both cities had proper city management, drainage and sanitation system, where they supplied waste collection, well-planned roads and transport systems. Local architecture included buildings built with fire bricks, kilns, public baths and granaries. The people were literate and probably an ancestral Dravidian language was spoke. Considered a Bronze Age society, the Indus Valley civilization was able to develop new techniques in metallurgy and handicraft, such as working with copper, bronze, lead and tin and carnelia gemstone. Harappa is a large village in the Punjab province of Pakistan near Rava River. The Indus Valley civilization was the largest among the ancient civilizations of the world, Mesopotamia, Egypt and China. The present site of Harappa is a tangible proof of its existence. At its peak, Harappa had about 23,000 residents. The excavations in the site were carried out in 1920 by the Archaeological Survey of India, but the first record is attributed to James Lewis in 1826, a British army deserter who wandered up the Punjab areas in search of antiquities and wrote. East of the village there was abundance of lush grass where with many others I went to a loud manag to gaze. When I joined the camp I found it facing the village and a ruined brick castle. Behind us was a large circular moat and to the west was an irregular rocky elevation crowned by the remains of buildings fragments of walls with niche in the oriental manner. Latter elevation was unbeatedly a natural object, the former being only of the hut, it was obviously artificial. The walls and towers of the castle are remarkably high. Although having been long abounded, they show in some parts the ravages of time and decay. Between our camp and its stretches a deep trench now overgrown with plants. Tradition of themes the existing here of the city, so considerable that it extended as far as Chikawatni, which was the 
destroyed by a particular visitation of Providence, broke down by the lasting crimes of the ruler. Later, in 1831, an emissary of King William III, Alexander Burns, recorded the various remains of Arapa while traveling to Lahore, writing. About 50 miles east of Tulumbai passed inland for miles to examine the ruins of the ancient city called Arapa. The remains are extensive and the new one that has been built of bricks is about 3 miles in circumference. There is a ruined citadel on the riverside of the city, but otherwise Arapa is a perfect mess and does not have a whole building. Bricks were removed to build a small place with all the name her tradition, fixes the fall of Arapa at the same time has short coat and people attribute its rumination to God's vengeance. Its ruler, who claimed certain privilege on marriage of every couple in his city and was guilty of incest. I have found coins in these ruins, both person and Hindu, but I cannot establish his era from any of them. Arapa's closeness to Ravi River in the Indus region allowed the ancient civilization to engage in the regional trade on water. Both Mohenjo-daro and Arapa were built according to similar plans. Almost all the cities were designed in a grid pattern with perfectly intersecting streets at the right angles. Each house had a flat roof, was used the same bricks with single structures consisting of at least three stories with central courtyard to a terrace and individually drew water from wells. Hygienic awareness was widespread, cotton was woven and dyed for clothing, and the food economy was based on a combination of farming, fishing and hunting. Evidence shows that the Indus Valley inhabitants participated in a vast time trade network that stretched from Central Asia to Middle East. Wet, rice, barley, pulses, millet, sesame and a variety of fruits and vegetables were cultivated and a number of animals were already domesticated. The economy depended significantly on major advances in transport technology. The Rappan civilization may have been the first to use wheeled transport in the form of ox draw wagons both building and watercraft. Lothal, the first known shipyard, was one of the most important cities and was a vital and flourishing trading center of the Hindu civilization. But not only that, trade focused on the import of raw materials such as minerals from Iran and Afghanistan, lead and copper from India, jade from China, and cedarwood from along the Himalaya rivers were processed in the city's workshops. Other goods found included the other word, vessels, gold, silver, shells, and precious stones such as lapis lazuli. Unlike Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt, the Indus Valley civilization did not build large monumental structures. There is no evidence of the construction of temples or palaces. There is no evidence of the existence of kings or priests who assume roles of power or systems of government, nor is there a clear religion or depiction of any deity worshipped. Some experts have to reside that the civilization have no rules as we understand them them today, and probably they all enjoyed equal status in the absence of any social hierarchy. Around 1800 BC, the production of goods and trade with Egypt and Mesopotamia declined, and most cities were abandoned. The Indus civilization inexplicably declined, and possible causes are attributable to climate change, which have only been speculated upon, are still debated today. The grandiose and advanced civilization of the Hindu Valley remains a mystery of history. What is your opinion on this? The Andara civilization originated around the 1st century and lived for 1000 years, marking the northwestern area of today's Pakistan and Afghanistan. The well-known cities during this period were Takshila, Charsada, 
Zvat and Peshawar. Bandara was a commercial crossroads and a cultural meeting place between India, Central Asia and the Middle East. Several great powers ruled this area having a great reverence for Buddhism and the creation of a new art form following Alexander the Great's invasion of India. Zara witnessed the rule of great powers, Achaemenid, Greeks of Macedonia, Maori's Empire, Indo-Greeks of Bactria, Scythians of Eastern Europe, Parthian Empire, Kushan Central Asia, White Ans, Shani Indus, Muslim Conquest. The Gandhara kingdoms became centers of learning and education of the ancient world, known in particular from the Gandhara style of Buddhist art, created by the fusion of Greek, Syrian, Persian and Indian artistic traditions. If you like my content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching!